recognized and preserved. Additionally, Redwood National Park was designated as a part of the California Coast Ranges Biosphere Reserve. These reserves will be experimental areas for the study of living, changing plant and animal systems, how they relate to each other, and how man's activities offset and are affected by them. They will also be used as reservoirs for preserving wild plants and animals to assure that the genetic material they represent will not be lost. This is working in the right direction for future preservation of our Earth. Because of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is taken from the air, and through the process, oxygen is released into the air. The process of cutting trees increases pollution in many ways. When trees are cut down, we lose our air cleansing abilities. The soil becomes loose and can be easily carried away by rain, causing flooding. This is called erosion. Streams fill up with dirt and sediment, killing fish and disabling them from spawning. The roots of trees help to prevent erosion by holding the soil together. Erosion is reversible by planting new trees and dredging sediment out of the rivers. But it takes time for the trees to grow, especially redwoods. This is why preserving the trees already standing, along with old growth forests, is so important. Tallest trees in the world stand against the odds of man and his need for development. Now some of these trees are preserved, standing high for all time. Remember the beauty of Redwood Country, its delicate ecosystem, the mystical forests, and rugged coastline. These are the Great California Redwoods. <laughs>